Good evening. What? I said how. This is a prose poem called Digitalia. I am intermittently reminded of how much I don't understand. This knowledge of a lack of knowledge comes as a slap in the face, rude and irrepressible. It is the realization of obsolescence, of having fallen behind and out of touch with some vast stone-scribed truth. The times have changed, and my broken clock can't even get it right once a day, forget twice. I am so shaken by this revelation, so questioning of my own validity, that the instinctive response is to curl up and suck my thumb in the dark cotton cocoon of my childhood quilts. I want to hide from this naked world, this full frontal, never getting dressed culture that derides my staid clothing. There are too many swinging dicks and flapping cunts too much androgyny to identify any individual amid the teeming throng of digital flesh. The world stands unprotected, as if immune to virus, vaccinated in some exotic technological cocktail downloaded at a digital pharmacy slash coffee shop. I miss the trend. Can't get in the club. Can't find my password. I am on the sidewalk, watching an online orgy commence among the hipsters and their hookers, an orgy without organs, conducted in the silence of their invisible wireless earbuds. And I am screaming, clawing at the window, let me in, let me in, but no one hears me, no one sees me. Their faces veiled by black VR headsets. Terminator robot boxes with beeping red dots. They exist in their own worlds. Their own worlds. There are no words I can write to regain their attention. They are lost to me and I to them. I am left alone in a nightmare without time. A dream so fake it's impossibly real. I am trapped, too late. I am consigned to dwindle in obscurity on the wrong side of the wormhole, a body unconnected to the great matrix switchboard, a brain unplugged from the control box. I am forced to control myself, to think without guidance, find some small thing to love. I failed to conform fast enough, and now must tend the independence I purchase with stubbornness. This is the true cost of freedom. We who question all are answered by none. We are outcast as contrary loners, labeled as losers. We are uninvited from the cafe sex shows, shamed by our old-fashioned genitalia. We are told, go fuck yourself. We are choked to coughing by the cloud of dust they have kicked up in our faces. And when it settles, we will be made to admit that no possible poem can ebb the tide of wires, hurts, terabytes, and circuits flooding the collective consciousness with clickbait and content. And as the androids approach orgasm, I am forced to ask two crucial questions. One, what do they have that I don't? Two, why do I want what they don't have? Thank you. I think this is kind of in tune with what Lou was talking about with fear, and more importantly, overcoming fear. So I'm going to read a very short piece, um, and that will segue into a piece I actually just found in my notebook that I have never thought twice about, but we'll see how it goes. 
So if you can hold your applause between, if you are so kind to give applause, hold it between the short one. The second one has no title. But this is called public speaking advice. Be mindful, but beware. This prescription does not constitute filling one's mind with filler. Mindfulness is not achieved with a full mind, but a full heart. Be anxious, but do not be nervous to speak the truth. Those butterflies you feel are for those unprepared to hear it. I am the Jew who controls the World Bank, the Jew who influences media content, Jew who bathes in blood of Christ. I am the billionaire Jew who alters history, the Jew who preys on Protestant daughters, Jew who corrupts pure Aryan genetics. I am the Jew wolf licking my chops and rubbing my circumcised cock, preparing to sodomize the convention of Boy Scouts as soon as Donald Trump gets through with his speech. I am the Jew coming out of the closet, tired of living in the shadow of white America. I have been chameleon long enough. Yes, we look similar, but alike, we are not. If you old Anglo-Saxon gentlemen don't read this poem, don't worry. You'll see my face on the cover of the Times, the Post, the Tribune, and of course, Breitbart. Because I am the Jew stepping forward from conspiracy to live in the light of my own truth. Thank you.